は我々の公演にお越しいただきまして誠にありがとうございますこれから皆様にご覧いただきます作品は今からおよそ2500年前に描かれたものですそんなに古い劇を見るのは初めてだと言われる方も少なからずいらっしゃるかと思いますので少々お時間をいただきまして本作品の解説をさせていただきたいと思いますフトリカスという作品は古典的なギリシャ悲劇であり物語は古代ギリシャの神話をもとにしております西洋文化といえば数々の恋愛物語でございますがこれはその中でも最も初期に書かれた優れた作品であります物語は苦難と悲惨なシーンが出進んでいきます後味の悪い終わり方だと思われるかもしれませんがこの苦痛に満ちた悲惨な結末は人生をよりよく生きるために必要な何かを教えてくれますギリシャ悲劇の大きな特徴はコーラスの存在ですコーラスといっても楽器に合わせて歌を歌うわけではありません彼らは太鼓や鉄筋のリズムに合わせて動いたり詩を栄唱したりします同時に舞台上で起こるさまざまな出来事を説明しまた自分の意見を述べることもあります時に彼らの声は歌のように聞こえまた時には彼らの動きは踊りのようにも見えるでしょうこれは作品全体に舞台演劇コンサートバレエの3要素が取り込まれているからですこれまでの話からおさせていただけるようにこれは大変難しい作品であります役者は自分のセリフだけではなく複雑な動きやリズムも頭に刻み込まなければなりませんさらに役者は深い悲しみ驚き恐怖そして胸を引き裂くような心の痛みを表現すればなりませんこれにはかなりの集中力が要求されますどうかこの拙い役者どもを後押しするような寛大な気持ちで我々の芝居をご覧ください皆様方が注意力を舞台に集中するならば役者の苦痛を必死必死と感じていただけると思います当然フラッシュ撮影や携帯電話のことなので本音を妨,妨げませんようお願いいたしますそれでは物語のあらすじをご説明いたしましょう今日の芝居はヒポリタスという純粋な若者の話であります彼は心が狭く自尊心が強かったために愛の女神アフロダイテを激怒させてしまいますアフロダイテはヒポリタスを罰するために彼の甘母フィードラが息子のヒポリタスに恋に落ちるように死んでいます報われることのない息子への恋の苦しみと悲しみからフィーラーは自殺してしまいますしかも彼女は夫シーシアスに対して自分がヒポリタスを恋したのではなくヒポリタスが自分に関係を迫ってきたために死んだという嘘の手紙を残して死んでいきましたこれはヒポリタスを悲惨な死へと導いていきますそして純血の女神アルテミスが現れシーシアスに彼の重大な間違いをつけます最後に彼は目の当てられないような悲惨な状況の中に一人残すそれではただいまからメイドインターナショナルプレイヤーズによるユーティアス原作「ヒポリタス」を上演いたしますどうぞ最後までごゆっくりお楽しみください
upon me, one who dared to deny my power in the world. He pointed us. He pointed us. The proud son of King Theseus condemned me as the cause of all human pain, the cause of heartache, the most bitter of human agonies, the cause of birth angst, the inevitable outcome of sensual love. He pointed us we have now this. He's found the bed of love, renounced his marriage, blames human as the origin of all man's misfortune, and has returned his back upon me, upon me, Aphrodite, supreme goddess of love. Instead, he turned to Artemis, Artemis. the goddess of hunting, Goddess of purity. He loved her with honor and gifts from the green woods, praising her above all other heavenly gods, raising Artemis, called virgin of chastity and self denial. Above me, Aphrodite! 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 Therefore, for his contempt and lack of respect for me, I've resolved to punish Hippolytus this very day. Already, I have set my plans in motion. It needs little more to achieve my aim. The harshest of punishment, total destruction for him and for myself, total revenge. Oh. Aphrodite, breaker of human heart, what will you do? What have you already done to bring down this paradox of your man? This is your minded, innocent youth, brave Hippolytus. But 
It is not Peter she loved. No, she no longer loved her husband. Who is it then? Who is it she has fallen in love with? Joe Peter and Konyosa. fall in love with but one man who else but her own virgin stepson that handsome young Tinayo Canality <laughs> What? Hippolytus! Peter loves Hippolytus! The gods forbid! What? In love with her own stepson! Hippolytus! Hippolytus! I'm the of the night club! Yes, he put it us. This incest is my doing, causing the stepmother to fall madly in love, fatally in love with her own stepson. Now, what, what will happen? What me achieve my revenge? Ah, delicious revenge! Here comes Hippolytus now, back from hunting. Home from the green woods with his own servant. Hippolytus, tell you what it is. Down my weapon, old man. Then kneel with me down on the ground. Kneel down to honor our guardian goddess, our maiden queen of hunting. Dear Bardin Artemis. Now they pray to Artemis, goddess of purity. What we are who died fear when she said our heart felt place for the honest other than herself. Will she not be filled with renewed anger? Most holy and most divine goddess, dear Bajin Queen, oh, damn it, dear our song, we enjoy you. Alone among mortals, I'm qualified to do this. The impure may not. So, among men in this world, I alone have different purity of heart. My dear Lord, young priest Hippolytus, do you accept from me a word or two of advice? Of course, 
It would be foolish to refuse. Speak, old man. Then you know that old road went down for mortal. What road is this you speak of? This one, sir. Always avoid pride. Never be exclusive. Quite right. A proud man is never popular. And does this role all the good for the gods also? Yes, if men and gods follow the same laws, then why does a proud goddess get no prayer from you? Which goddess? Oh, you mean Aphrodite? I will tear from a distance. My body is pure and must not be made unclean. Yes, she is very proud and most men on her highly. I have no liking for a goddess. We ship at night. But young sir, we should observe all honors due to the god. Old man, you talk too much. Let us go in and eat. I'm hungry after hunting. I need a good meal. You are goddess Aphrodite? No, to me she means nothing. When young men are proud, we should not imitate their ways. We should treat all the goods equally. Dear Queen of Love, Aphrodite, O give the pride of Hippolyta, O give this young man's forehead and forget what he said. His own servant is right to reprimand him. Take off 
water and so we will suffer pain. Oh, oh, to kneel in a mountain stream and drink a cup from clear cold water. Oh, to lie down in the long glass beneath the oak tree. What are you saying, Tiny? Watch your words. There are fever here. Put it over here. Yes. All of you, take me out the green hills. I'm going to the woods through the pine forest to hunt the wild deer. What is the matter, Tiny? Why do you speak of hunting? If you are thirsty, there is fresh water in the Paris earth. Artemis, strong goddess of fields of hunting. Let me light you, light on the back of a world home. Along the seashore, my hair streaming out in the wind. Yes, yeah, indeed, the right word. Are you out of your mind? Fast, you run for the green hills. Next moment, that time is sure. Oh, you go.
Let's make a spear for us. No, 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 it's unbearable. No, what is unbearable? What is this cry of anguish? Oh, We have heard, no matter how small the heart be, nothing. 
My passion has reached the far limit of human life. And to cross that frontier is cruel beyond the bearing. Where in the history of humankind has there been a woman? So scarred as I am now by the endless whiplash of misfortune. Oh. We wait for you, Pedro. You got a Pedro, come on, boy. You pull that. It is high. 
our joy to destroy men and women with love. I shall die defeated, yet my death shall prove fatal to another human life, to one who needs to be taught not to ride roughshod over the misery of others. Hippolytus shall share equally the agony I have suffered, and he'll also learn that true chastity is not alone to be pure in mind and body, but also to be gentle to others and to be humble before the gods. It's a 
From a holy journey to Delphi to pay my respects to the gods. But strange to say, the palace doors are shut and no one has come out to welcome me home. I hope there is no bad news. Has an old friend of mine died in my absence? No, Lord of Jesus. What has happened here does not concern the old. It's the death of someone young that must break your heart. What? What is this? Someone dead? Someone young? Is it my son Hippolytus? Has he made some disaster? No, Lord Theseus, it is not the son, but the stepmother, your wife, who is dead. Phaedra? Phaedra? Dead? Tell me what happened. She made a mess, died into the dusty, and hanged herself. Fizra hanged? Oh, what was that cause? Was she overwhelmed by grief? We know little, sir, but it's true indeed that pain and sorrow shatters Fizra's heart. I journey to Delphi to honor and bless the gods. They showed them pleasure with this wreath of rose. A gift to show my journey was crowned with success. <coughs> but why do I wear it now? A bitter gift indeed, and for my joy. Now swiftly becomes a burning pain. Servants within, come, open wide the doors. Let me behold a sight to blast my eyes with horror. Open the doors. Now they will open the doors and let the king, great Theseus, go inside. Caesar's over. Time to secure Conquer.
you have vanished like a white bat flying from my hand. Like a black eagle, death came swooping from the sky and carries you down into the bottomless pit of darkness. All I have left is the rushing torrent of my tears. Tears for your death and anguish for your despair. Great as this grief beyond is Jesus. It is not a grief alone. The loss of your wife is a sorrow shared by many others far and near. Ah, she's a fool. Below the earth, I see the groom below the earth. Now, let me die and go down there to the underworld. Since you, my dear, then all at my side, no more. Oh, Pedro! My heart is broken! My heart is broken! Alas! This has been broken with grief! Ah,新しい心は打ち砕かれた! I have lived to see my home ravaged thus with grief. Oh, my house is desolate. My life is ended. Oh. Here, here, Pedro, you have left us forever. Left us, the dearest, the fairest, the best of all women that ever the dazzling sun beheld, or the glistening stars at night. But look, look here, what this fastened to the slender wrist I loved so much. Is it a letter? Will she tell me about her last thought? The pain she endured, or the memories of her love? Let me untie the cord and break the seal. Oh, Phaedra, what will this letter have to say to me? Here is a new terror sent by the goats to crown the rest. After this terrible act of self-destruction, what heavy a broken fall now? His house is ruined with us and never to rise again. Pile up that black cloud of thunder. Oh, oh, how can I speak it out? What is it, sister? Tell us if you can. The letter. It shrieks with infamy. It howls with horror beyond human endurance. I am crushed with misery. Where can I escape to? What I have seen here has killed me. A voice. A voice from the letter speaks and tells me what things, what things, what terrible thing does the letter speak of? Wrongdoing so evil, I can hardly force my tongue to utter it, but I will not keep it hidden. Listen, Hippolytus has dared to offend the holy gods. He has dared to cast a spell on my name and house. What has he done? He has dared to declare his love for his own stepmother, my wife, 
speed run. My own son committing incest. What? He wants to stay here to feed me. He has laid a curse on my house, and for this, I now have a fatal curse at his head. No, no, please, do not curse your own son. No god or man can prevent me. I here pronounce it. May Zeus and all the gods curse my son Hippolytus. Most utterly mistaken. And soon you will find out the truth. Impossible. There is no doubt. This letter speaks it. The abominable truth is written here in Phaedra's hand. And therefore, I add to my cast this further penalty immediate punishment. I banish my son Hippolytus from Athens and from all lands where they are thousand miles. It was only just now that I took leave of her. Only a short time ago, she was alive. What had happened to her? How did she die? And why? Why has this catastrophe defiled our house? You are silent. Silence is out of place at such a time. It is not right, since I am a friend. And more than that, you are some other. It is not right to hide your face from me. Oh, futile human existence. There should be some way for us to recognize which man is a traitor and which is a friend. And then no man could be unknowingly be betrayed. Why do you guess at me like that, father? I am guiltless. Why have I become a suspect? You are well to burst free me with amazement. Clearly, your mind has gone astray. Oh, the uncouthly heart of man! Is there no limit to your brazen crimes? Look at this man, my own son, proved guilty by this damning testimony. Come, show your face. Look at me in the eyes. Yes. Your own father. <coughs> so, you are the man above all other men who claim to be godly, chaste, and untouched by evil. Who will believe your vain voice now? Not I, nor anyone who has a particle of goodness. You say she's dead. 
The thought that accurate you'll be your guilt. Not so, criminal. Her death is the very proof of it. You'd say she hated you and therefore threw away her life to spite you. If so, still the guilt is yours and yours alone. Remember this. When Aphrodite sets his heart on fire, a young man can master it. No better than a woman can master hers. Why need I waste force any longer? Her dead body is evidence beyond all human doubt. Hippolytus, be gone out of this land to exile. Go, I say. Never again approach this gold-built city of Athens. No cross any frontier guarded by the power of my sword. I tell you, if I weaken my resolve now, these hands shall take on powers of their own and rip out the shameless and craven life that carves down in the scarlet dark of your heart. Can any mortal man claim he has good fortune? She just what? Before that's gone, who did that was she did that all? Ah! Kare wa jibun no yamachi ni kizukasu! Kibori da to ni kori wo kasukatta! Even the greatest, even the purest and the best are overthrown by fate and end in ruin! Father, your fear was an intense passion. A terrible to witness, but I am not so sure as to be unable to answer your accusations. Look, you see this earth and this sunlight. Between them, I tell you, deny it as you may, there is no man whose nature is more pure than mine. I have always been true to my friends. Always true to the God I respect, and I swear by any God you choose to name, ill has never yet touched me with his poison dart. I am undefiled. My body is innocent of carnal affection. Now have I ever laid hands on your wife, Pedro? of evil spells, making everyone believe he has never dishonored his father. Is it you, father, who enchanted your own wife with evil charms that blind your eyes? If you are my son and I, your father, I would never have punished you with exile if you had sought to lay one finger on my wife. With one blow, I'd have struck you down dead. Such a quick death would be too easy a way. No, you wander from land to land a bitter outcast, and drain out the dregs of your life on alien soil. Go, Hippolytus! What? Will you drive me out to bed? Is that? Will you give me time to speak in my defense? Not a word! Your sight to me is loathsome. Get you gone! Farther east than the wild black sea, or farther west than the wild grey Atlantic. Out of my land, I say! Blood is an essential thing, sir. Where can I turn? What friends can lead me? Anyone who loves a man who defies other men's wives. Your words, father, would be deeply. Oh, now it is time for tears. If you and others in the world think I am of pure. The time for tears was the time you cast off all shame and violated my wife, your own stepmother. Oh, if the boy does, his wound is to the depths of his heart.
let me stand apart, look down myself, crushed by this hopeless destiny. Tear, oh no tears. Nothing will change the evidence. Now, leave this land. I pronounced your exile long ago. Tears will not move me. There is no pity in my heart. It seems that my faith is fixed. How sad and cruel that I, who know what I know, know no way to attain. The goddess of hunting and of their house hearted. I must now live in exile, far from blue light old Athens. So here I speak my farewell. You will never meet a man whose nature is more pure and more true than mine. Never thought my bold father will not believe me. Constant for human life. May we survey the mortal sin. We are baffled. Men's fortunes and men's deeds are unpredictable. Change follows change. Men's lives are uprooted like trees in a violent storm. Fortunes are suddenly ruined, and men's wandering is endless. We have seen Hippolytus, the brightest star of Athens driven out by his father's anger to walk a road of lonely exile. No more shall we hear his jungle hunting Christ in the hills, nor the dead drumming of his horse's hoofs on the white sands of the seashore. No more shall he bring to Artemis bright garlands of flowers. For signs of his pious worship, for signs of his purity of heart. We'll spend the remainder of our lives in never-ending tears. Violated as he violated my no! It was his own horses and chariots that killed him. 
Oh, the man who suffer this ghastly mischance, or the man I despised. Your story at first pleased me, but I have respect for the gods, and I must remember that Hippolytus is my son. Therefore, what has happened moves me neither with pleasure nor with grief. What is it? I will to bring his shattered body here into your presence. I beg you, sir, do not be harsh to him. Bring him here to me. I will meet face to face <coughs> the man who said he did not defile my marriage, so that my words and heavy hand of heaven may prove his guilt. I command you, listen to my voice. It is I, Artemis, goddess of hunting, goddess of pure hearts and chastity, human and divine. Wale, Artemis wa shinjitsu wo tsuge ni kita. Miserable man, why do you rejoice at what has happened? You have killed your own son, a most unholy deed. You believed your wife died without witness. Now witness how you have worked your own undoing. Do you not cower down shame in the deepest darkness of hell? Oh, twice to fire up is the only club to escape this burning chain of misery. Hachiosure! Is of men who lead good and blameless lives, there is no place for one such as you. No! Hear the true success of your unhappy life. It will do no good to anyone, but will cause you pain, and that will be punishment enough. I came here for this purpose to reveal your son the uprightness of heart that he may die with a good name, to reveal your wife's wild passion for Hippolytus. <laughs> Hippolytus was free that I was asked on the night. Free that I was asked on the night. Free that I was asked on the night. For free that I was asked on the night. 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 Free that
خزینه پیریز پایس آفرو دایگی پیدرا دیزاید یوسن سی ساز و دیم بین تو مسحا او با به میلاب بات فیت واز آگیت ها ها ناس این فومد هی پولیتاس او با افلیکشن اد هی موس اونرا بی ریزیسید فیدرا دین تریزیز بات شی تری فایت دات ترو دو بیری بیوز Those that ran Mireta and destroyed herself at the same time, destroying you and your son also. My son! My son! Uh, do my words give you pain, Theseus? Do you now try and understand? It is you yourself that have brought your son to this vida. Ending of his life. Defy Artemis! Let me die! Your wrongdoing is great and unforgivable, but even so you may yet be granted pardon. Nanti da seni, okashita emachi o koukai shiteiru. Aphrodite is what she do, who appears her anger, and we have our own in heaven that no god may oppose the purpose of another. And why it's not that I fear the last of tales. I never would have survived towards the man whom all mortals I loved best got to his death. Sin is what shall I got to win the case? Oh, my not to me a curry. The long we have died a little diminished by two facts. Your ignorance was truly meant, and the death of your wife that prevented you from facing her accusation against. Your son, this day disaster then falls chiefly upon your head. Though I suffer deeply also, for it is no joy to the gods when good men die. But remember this, men of evil ways, their hearts and their children, we could destroy utterly. Luke, here comes the bird. Don't be pleased. His young flesh, raw and bleeding. His bare head, broken. His lucky daughter, spoiled as a Greta. Ah, house of misfortune. But overwhelming grief. Two loved ones struck down with death by the unforgiving hand of heaven. Scars broken, trampled on the feet by beasts, by mad gods, like unjust. Ah, my father's cars are destroying me to extinct. The monstrous brew set up by the gods of the sea, all sin. Ah, we for my death. My brow is pierced by the fears, lest it pay, and my brain tormented by troubling anguish. Love thou, I am faint. Let me rest. Doomed, fury, cursed by my father's fury. Zeus, do you not see my agony? I, whose life was holy, and above all others in purity, now tread my way to the darkness of death. My life is lost, and my suffering has cared to live with a pure mind to us others. All in vain, all utterly lost, 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 lost. Me now, pain, pain, pain. Let me go, let me go. Let this come and take away my endless torment. Oh, for pity's sake, kill me. But I entered. Now you can't fall down from my head, father. 
But why should it be? I am guilty of the wrong. Ah, of misery. Ah. What shall I cry? How can I be free of life? And forget pain. I pity you for your death. You know the of heart has brought about your death. Oh, divine fragrance in my despair. I hear you, goddess. She is here. The goddess Artemis is here. Yes. Oh. She is here. Do you the dearest of the gods? Divine Artemis. Do you see my pity at misfortune? I see it. But my eyes are forbidden to shed tears. Why is your best husband? You have not said that now. It is too true. You are there. Take from me a precious friend. No one left in the world to guard your holy image. This day's event was a doing of Aphrodite. Oh, oh, I understand that goddess has ruined me. She resented your neglect of her, despised your purity of heart. She had this wrong. All three of us, I see it now. All three of you destroyed. Megami, Aphrodite, Ha Ha, Chichi, Sosuke, Muchiko, no Taimi, Shubete, O Amade, Sasuke, Shimata. All three, your father and you, and your father's wife. I weep for my father. For his terrible suffering. Father, what cruel misfortune has come to you this day? My son, my heart is broken. Life is loathsome to me. If only my son, I could have died in place of you. Lord Theseus, take your son in your arms and crush him to your heart. It was in ignorance you killed him. And the gods govern the deeds of men. Before it has, I counted you. Not to hate your father. This doom you enter was laid upon by him, but by the gods. So now farewell. By Lord, decreed in heaven, I may not look upon the dead, and I see now that this is you upload to your end. Farewell, Artemis. Depart to your blessed land, immortal causes, as your desire. I put an end to all my hatred for my father. For even now, at the last, I am obedient to your word. Tennis has taken farewell of dying before it has You are free. 
I hear forgiving you. I've been told with you of my death. Oh, that dear son. How noble I thought you saw your father. Oh, magnanimous heart dying in all this innocence. I saw it by the strong bow of the heartless artery. My son, I cannot. Farewell, father. Farewell. Farewell. My son, your son. My time for. Is past. I'll go, Father. Come out my face now. Quickly. See, you are close. World famous artists and all our loves around us. How deeply you will feel this irrecoverable loss. How often, Aphrodite, shall I hear us remember this immutable wrong? You have done to our noble house. And to soul, dearing sorrow. 